people that don't take responsibility for their addictions. You know, there's people that are addicted. They need help. I want to help. I just don't like when they don't take responsibility. Cigarette smokers. Oh. Well, it's not my fault. I started smoking when I was a kid, and now I can't stop. Oh, man. Yeah, I used to soil myself as a kid. I got over it. <laughs> Move on. They blame something else. Because the entire cigarette thing, I never smoked cigarettes. If you're addicted to cigarettes, man, I hope you can stop. It's hard. I know it's hard. I'm not giving it to you. Just take responsibility. Because the whole cigarette thing is just so weird to me. I mean, the whole idea of even starting to smoke a cigarette never made six because of what, look at what a cigarette is. It's leaves and paper wrapped up. It doesn't even appear in nature anywhere. Some guy had to like come up to a campfire years ago and like, <laughs> I mean, even the tobacco industry never actually believed anybody was gonna fall for this. That's why in their marketing, they tried to make it sound appealing. You've seen what they used to say about cigarettes. Hey, smooth taste. Smooth taste. Yeah, because when I think lung full of smoke, I think smooth. That's why when people come out of burning buildings, what was it like? <laughs> smooth. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back in. That's refreshing. That's nice, isn't it? I'm bringing the whole family. We're wearing our nightgown. <laughs> Responsibility, or to blame others. See, there's always the people that blame others. Indians, Indians invented cigarettes. Really? Then why do you never see an Indian smoking a cigarette in a cowboy movie? Because even these savages realized that it was leaves and paper on fire. <laughs> Indians didn't invent cigarettes, it was a practical joke. It's the whoopee cushion of the Cherokee, that's what it is. <laughs> We were stealing their land. They were leaving a going away present for a white guy. That's what was going on. Just see how stupid we were. Hey, Kimasabi, smoke that in your lungs. How come? It's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, running bear, you're good. And if I could get a guy to suck smoke in his lungs, I'm going for more. Yeah, and if you lick the red hot end, all your wishes come true. <laughs> Oh, itching powder, you're the best! <laughs> the whole cigarette thing always blew me away. And yet, I know why people started smoking. Because they made it look cool in the movies. They didn't just smoke the cigarette, it was like a magic trick. part that always blew it for me when they had smoke come out of their face. <laughs> Suddenly, you ain't cool anymore. Think about that. The first time guy had cigarette smoke come out of his face, he had to be freaking people out. He was like, hey, look what I got. People like, ah! He be a dragon. <laughs> and I don't smoke, and I don't like the smell of cigarettes, but man, all these people that don't smoke are so ruthless to cigarette smokers now. They don't even pretend. They're like, <laughs> The smugness I can't stand, not having compassion on these people. Man, if I smoked cigarettes, I'd come up with a new way to smoke so people would leave me alone because they're not used to it. Yes, I see what you say. <laughs> people be like, that's cool, whatever you want to do. That's, that's... <laughs> Suck it in from new spots now and again, that freak people. Yes, I see what you say. We'll work on those stocks. Yes, huh? That was dumb, that was dumb. <laughs> it's weird though because... Uh, <laughs> so 
something magical happen? I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, here's what I want to do. I just want to go to all these non-smokers who are so, so unhelpful to these cigarette smokers. And what I'd like to do, I'd like to have smoke just suddenly start pouring out of my face, but have no cigarette. Because then they wouldn't know what to do. They'd just think their head would explode. They would freak. They wouldn't know what. Could you imagine that being the all oh, bunch of non-smokers and suddenly you can make smoke shoot out of your mouth? Could you imagine? No, that's why you pay to see me. All right, everybody's a non-smoker, and then me. All right, let me get this straight. I just took a lit cigarette, bit it in half, had smoke shooting out of my face for like two minutes, had four people clap, and the rest just sat there like, oh yeah, Grandma does that every Thanksgiving. <laughs> I had to come to Muncie, Indiana to find a crowd that's seen everything. Are you having any fun at all tonight? Americans. I come to the Midwest, I come to the South, I come to the middle of America. People that understand values, that actually want to have hip, cool, fun, entertainment. They just are tired of it coming with curse words. They're just tired. They want another option. We're the freaks, apparently. We're the freaks because we want to have things we can actually go to with our kids. Oh, yeah. And we got people in this country that don't like it. They don't want anything about it. They want any kind of value system. But where do our values come from? God. That's why we need God in the public arena. I don't mean a thinking, See, you know, I, I want a, a country where you have to believe a certain way. You can disbelieve. But if you don't have a moral structure, then you have no standard to draw conclusions from. Yeah. None. <laughs> it's not that complicated. It's not that, yes, but, you know, which religion are we going to, uh, you know, listen to? I mean, there's so many. How about the one that we started with? Yeah. It got us this far. People don't want to admit that. Christians started this country. And we have people in this country, especially judges, who've decided that they don't care what the majority wants, they will implement their ideology and make it illegal to have a moral point of view. That is judicial tyranny. It needs to be stopped, and we can do it because America is run by people, not the judiciary. Checks and balances. The Supreme Court isn't supreme. When we got judges in the Supreme Court looking for international law to help us find out how to govern ourselves instead of the Constitution, they are out of line. 